cat filters and fluids are different because of the design behind the product, the manufacturing behind the product, and the fact that they're really optimized in the design process for the Caterpillar machines. I do believe there is a difference between cat filters and fluids and some of the other name brands. You can see the difference. I look at the designs. I know the chemistry of our fluids. The competitors, you know, the, the material being depleted or coming apart, obviously low hour failures of filters that aren't designed right, not using quality material internally. No other OEM in the world can say they do endurance testing to the extent of Caterpillar. At the end of the day, it makes absolutely no sense to buy the cheap product because you have too much troubles afterwards. I've gotten phone calls from customers going, my oil drain looks much cleaner when I went to the Caterpillar filters and fluids. My system's being protected. You keep the uptime going, you're making money. It's, it's huge. We can see less fuel burn. We can see it in mechanical terms. We can see machine failure. We can see problems that happen when improper filtration or improper fluids are used in a machine. Cat filters and fluids have a huge impact on the customer's business. If you're using the right products and you're not having early repairs and failures, you're going to have significantly less cost. Trust would be the biggest thing is uh, just knowing that um, it's going to do what it says it's going to do. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Um, put it on, forget about it. We always talk system when we have the fluids, the components, the filters, because the, all three complement each other. We work in the dirt, so we have to keep the dirt out. And this is where our filters keep our fluids clean so that the fluids can do their optimal job. The development process of fluids is, uh, is very similar to, to filters that we'll have a new engine that's coming out and we'll make sure we're formulating that fluid uh, to work with that engine. As machines have changed over the years and more required out of those machines, filtration and fluids have had to change. If you ask a customer, why did I buy a cat machine? I bought that cat machine because it's the best. That optimization includes the fluid that goes in it. So if you don't use a cat fluid, you immediately have cut your efficiency. You have cut the horsepower output because the fluid you've put in it is no longer part of the original design. You're investing a lot of money into those machines and I think you'd want to put the best product you can in it. The people that don't are generally people who are trying to save a dollar today and not looking at their long-term costs. The big picture is no downtime, but I know every day a machine doesn't break is a day closer to it breaking. If I can avoid that day as long as possible, then our profitability just is that much better. There is a big misconception of, you know, the cost of the cat filters versus the competitor's filters. A lot of times they say, well, I could save 20% by going to this competitor. We look at the long term versus the short term, that 20% over one year, a lot of times is only about two to eight dollars. If you want to run a successful business, cutting corners is no way to, you know, how many stories are out there cutting corners that ever end up winning. You need to look beyond the price of anything that you buy on a cat machine and look for the total cost of ownership. That's why you bought that cat machine in the first place. You bought it because it was going to give you the best efficiency. You bought it because it was going to move the most dirt. Frankly, you bought it because it was going to make you the most money. And cat fluid is one more part that helps you make the most money.